I'm supposed to do a reflection from a millennial on the religious aspects of this survey. And I have to say, millennials have a complicated relationship with religion. As seen in the survey, there's a growing trend towards religious unaffiliation. We also have to deal firsthand with religious prejudices, especially Islamophobia. Yet, our generation is also idealistic, seeking common ground and wanting to work together. I see these things firsthand at my university, Boston University, where I run the Boston University Interfaith Council. We have all kinds of Christians involved, but also Buddhists, Muslims, Jews, Hindus, etc. I'm one of the fellows for the Millennial Values Symposium, and you can see among our other fellows a variety of religions from Christianity to Islam, Judaism, even Zoroastrianism. <laughs> um, millennials have to engage with many kinds of diversity within religion, but we also have to engage with people of no religion. As we saw in the survey, religious unaffiliation is a growing thing. I know at the Interfaith Council at my school, I always have to be careful with the phrasing to include atheists, secular humanists, etc., with saying things like, all religious and non-religious traditions are welcome. We are generation conscious of these changes, these new ways of thought, and the change in religious demography. In fact, one of the greatest challenges for our generation is finding a way to not only tolerate, but celebrate the diversity of our religious beliefs. As mentioned before, Islamophobia is a major problem in our country. On reading the results of the survey, at first I was a little disheartened to see that millennials are split about 50-50 on whether the values of Islam are opposed to the American way of life. I was a little more encouraged to read on and see that with education, millennials were more like likely to be upset, accepting because education is something doable, something that we can give to people. It's the purpose of this conversation, this symposium, the meetings that I have back in Boston with my Interfaith Council. Millennials are ready for these kind of conversations. I think part of the reason that we are more accepting is that we are able to see our commonalities. In the survey, it shows that 76% of us believe in God, whether as a person or as an impersonal force. But we seem to be a generation that's hesitant to stick to doctrines or dogmas. Look at me, I'm a Unitarian Universalist, which is not exactly the most strict denomination. But we still seek spirituality and we seek shared values. Actually, in my cab ride from the airport to the hotel yesterday, my driver was a little older than me, but still part of the millennial generation. Our conversation started talking about the weather, which was a little dreary yesterday but soon switched to why I was in DC for this symposium. And I explained to him about the millennials and the ideas of faith and public life. We started talking about the importance of interfaith work and the shared values of different religions. At the end of the cab ride, he said something to me that kind of summed up how millennials look at religion, how we look at differences, how we look at the world. He said, I just think that we need to see we are all human. If you love who you are, you also love who other people are. I agree wholeheartedly with that, and I think it really characterizes our generation. We may have a complicated relationship with religion, but we know how we feel about people. Mm -hmm.